Kigoranga! We have just arrived in Cook Islands. We are in Rarotonga. Yes. Let's get our internet first, sort out our transportation, then we're gonna head over to our resort. And finally, we got something very special for you guys. We're gonna do a progressive dinner at three local Cook Island homes. We're gonna take you guys along for the journey. Let's get in. <laughs> So when you arrive at Rarotonga Airport, you actually get a live uh, welcome. Oh, baby, you can come with me. Feeling it. The holiday vibes are kicking in. We just got out of the airport and we need a SIM card, so we're here at Blue Sky. What we're going for is the 15-day visitor SIM card. That's $49. We get 3 gigs of mobile data, 30 minutes calling anywhere, and 300 texts anywhere in the world. <laughs> Yo guys, so if you're sorting out transportation here in Rarotonga, the most convenient way to get around is actually by scooter. It's uh, $40 to get a license here and then it's around about 20 bucks per day. But we've actually opted for a car. So we've got five people on this trip and it actually works out a little bit cheaper. About $100 per day for all of us with full insurance with zero excess. Now let's go for a little bit of a spin. So excited. Petrol in Rarotonga costs $2.19 per litre and you can find quite a lot of petrol stations all around the island. Part of this tour, we're going to go into the local superstore here at Wigmore's right now. Let's go check out what you can get here and also some of the prices. Selection is really good. Um, you can actually get a lot of different things like chips, bread, milk and quite a lot of variety. Even get international foods here like Migo Rang. So I totally expected these prices to be a lot higher than they would be back in New Zealand, but actually they're really similar. $13.90 for some cacao butter, maybe a dollar or two more than what it would be in a New Zealand shop. Alcohol in general is kind of expensive on the island day, so like most of the wines are about 20 to 30, 40 dollars for a bottle, and beers are about three dollars each. Not that much variety either. Hey guys, so we've been told the water situation here in Raro is it's better not to drink from the taps. And uh, this seems to be the local drink. It's not too expensive either, it was $5.50 for this big bottle and $2.50 for this small one. Okay, so meat is very expensive here. Meat is about $28 for a beef ribeye, about 700 grams. That's about two times more expensive than it would be back in New Zealand. Sausages, $25 for 700 grams. So, groceries are pretty expensive. Necessities are reasonably priced, however, anything that's considered a luxury item is quite a lot more. We only got a little bit of stuff, mainly just water, some insect repellent, a couple of cacao nibs and some toothpaste, and the total bill came to about 37 bucks. We're here at Pacific Resort on Muri Beach. We have just arrived at our accommodation right behind me. Let's go inside and check this place out. Hey guys, welcome in. This is our room. So we've got a two bedroom place. We've got two singles and one king, double, queen. <laughs> In. It's $600 a night and it's separated with this curtain here. It's super nice and cool. We've got the aircon on and the fan going too. We're next to the pool and it's a really nice island resort feel. So this is the bathroom. It's actually really big in here. All very nice and clean too. We've got the sink, toilet on the left, shower on the right. There's no locks either so just be aware of that. It's like ridiculously soft. <laughs> Normally I like a little bit of a harder bed, but this one feels like I'm on a marshmallow right now. I'm like literally just sinking in. <laughs> the restaurant at Pacific Resort also has some delicious Cook Island food, especially the Ikamata if you go there. And most importantly of all, the resort is right next to Muri Lagoon, which is absolutely paradise. What's up guys? It's time for a couple of seasonal tips on when to visit Rarotonga. 
The only times that you're going to want to avoid is actually November to March because that's the rainy season. So the best times to visit Rarotonga are in April, May, September and October. It's when it's not too hot and it's much drier here. Rarotonga is actually a pretty small island but it's the biggest one in the Cook Islands. It takes about 40 minutes to drive around the entire island and it's about 30 kilometers in circumference. Kia ora everybody! We have got something very special for you lined up right now. Yes. The best way to understand a culture, for us at least, yes. is through the food. Through the food. <laughs> yes, and we've got an amazing tour lined up with Cook Island Tours where we're going to visit... Uh, three local Rarotongan families in their homes and they're going to cook us a delicious meal. <laughs> can't wait for this, this is absolutely exciting, but we can't go dressed like this. No, we cannot. We must get prepared. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> So I've got on my trusty Hawaiian shirt. And I've got my patio from Is That Us Fam. Thanks again, guys. I also have this, the Warriors necklace. Also from Is That Us Fam. <laughs> oh, you don't actually wear that it like that. That's not how you wear it. But, uh, I will extend it and get it off. Ah! <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Cook Island Tours will actually pick you up from your hotel and drop you at all of the three destinations, then bring you back at the end too. We're at our first stop. I'm so hungry, can't wait. We're going for the food now. Some parafish higamata, some taro, and a banana coconut salad. Can't wait. It smells delicious. <laughs> Firstly, gotta go in for that ikamata. This one has been marinated for about three to four hours. So sometimes it's a bit less than that, but then it can be quite fishy. So let's give this one a try. Oh wow, I can taste the hit of lemony zest straight away. So creamy. That's really yum. Next thing that we're trying is the banana and the coconut flakes. Wow, it's really sweet. And normally you'd probably associate like bananas with desserts, but as you've seen from all the other episodes, with especially as that us fam, we like to eat banana and stacky things at Daro together with food. It's really yum. I think Peter will like that one. Then the Taro. No taste. <laughs> it's completely bland. So I guess we're like how us Asians and we eat with rice. Cook yeah. Islanders like to eat with Taro. We're at our second home now and this is the mains. Enjoy your meal with us tonight and be happy. Come on everyone. What do you mean I know? Poke, of course. <laughs> we love poke. We got some popo and freshly grated coconut here. This is my favorite poke. This one's banana poke. We also have some chop suey. Thank you. Itaki. <laughs> Alright guys, I've got the food and I'm super excited for this. These are the mains and it's got all of my island favorites on here. We've got chop suey, rukau, got some taro, got some kumara and poke. Oh, and of course you got a little bit of papo here as well, just to top it all off. So I'm going to start off with some chop suey first. Looks like it's just veggies in here, no meats. Very delicious, familiar flavors. Just that slight bit of soy mixed in with the vermicelli. Yum. Puts a smile on my face straight away. I'm going to top that off with a little bit of rukau, which is the baby taro leaf, one of the favorites. It's because of that slight tea flavor that you get in there. And now this is Yen's favorite, so she'll probably be a little bit jealous behind the camera as I eat this. It's the poke, which is ripened banana with a little bit of arrowroot so that it's got that jelly-like texture. It's so interesting. Even though it's sweet, it's still served with your mains, but it just goes and then we got some chicken drumstick here as well for the protein. Just a good, hearty roast chicken. And I'll polish all that off with some pork pork. Apparently, uh, fun fact for you all, it's good for your digestion as well. I'm gonna polish off this meal. Once again, rest of dinner. Awesome way to experience local culture here in Rarotonga. Come check it out. So we're at our last stop now and it's dessert. I polished off a zesty lemon cake and Peter had a yummy pavlova. Just wrapping up at our final spot now. It's been a fantastic experience having the progressive meal here. 
and you get to meet a lot of lovely people. <laughs> Tastes a lot of very delicious local food. And right now I'm finishing up with a coffee that has coconut milk in it. It's really good. So thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give us a like and subscribe. <laughs> And if you want to see any more about what to do in Rarotonga, you can check out our other episodes of where to go to eat and other things to do in Raro. I'll see you guys. Thank you all. Without you uh, being adventurous, we wouldn't be able to have, a, uh, to, to have this kind of tour. Enjoy the rest of your holidays with us. Safe journeys home and we'll see you again. And not too distant future. <laughs> <laughs>